And when you think of a therapy dog, you probably are thinking, of when you think of an animal, you think dogs. Yeah, but the healing comes really in many forms. And for one woman, trying something unexpected helped her cope with immense grief. Atlanta News first reporter Sawyer Bussey has her story. This is video of Kaylin Hill, Kilana Muhammad's daughter. Kaylin died at 10 years old from an aggressive brain cancer. Now her family has these moments to look back on, to celebrate until they believe they will meet again. It spread, spread really fast and there was nothing that could be done. The grief has hung heavy and constant. I feel so aching. Um, it, it feels like empty. The day after burying her daughter, Kilana showed up at a free Lama yoga class created for parents who've lost children or families with terminally ill kids. Why Lama yoga? Why not? It was like I had to keep going. I had to keep myself going. The class was led by Lenise Shortle, a yoga instructor and palliative care nurse at the Atlanta Alpaca Treehouse. Uh, what we're learning with research is that you have to integrate cognitive therapy, which is counseling or support groups, with somatic therapy, movement. The animals have been known to sit in the classes by people as they stretch and work through each pose. It helps people to manage their grief versus being stuck in it. Instructors say that grief is a funny thing. Nothing works until it works. And this works for some as unique and unexpected as it may seem. At the Treehouse in Atlanta, Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First.